Hi, everybody. Welcome to the podcast, Hacking the Afterlife. Today, Jennifer is on spring break, so we'll be back soon. However, I'm going to show you guys something that I recorded a few years back. This is from December 21st, 2015. It was our second conversation the on well, campus. You're not conscious of it. Well, they, of course not. We aren't yeah. conscious of anything. We have filters <laughs> where we, otherwise we, we would, you know, we'd be in a bar right. the whole time. We'd be Homer Simpson at all times. <laughs> We're not conscious of anything. But when you can access that information, right. then you can't be unconscious of it. Once you know that, know. that, that there right. are, then you, you can't, you know, you can't just erase it or delete it. Well, the first person that showed that to me about contracts, that set it up for me to ask for contracts for every case I work on so I could not have judgment because it's so oh, interesting. It's so excruciating when I work with the families because they're in so much pain. And so for me, it was a way that I could cope to get inside the perpetrator's head. Yeah. Okay. In order to Explain find the happened. clues yeah, before he does it, before, you know. Yeah. But I get the information first from the person that he killed. So the people that are coming here, that I told you in one of my first cases, um, their daughter was stalked and murdered. And the police department in Colorado, the sheriff's department, called it a suicide. Eventually he said natural causes and then called it a suicide. Wow. Complete cover. It's going up all the did it's, she committed suicide? Yeah. She was so... Wow. She's already here, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Um, she's such an amazing, evolved soul that she showed me at the time that I had parents. Meanwhile, I always ask, don't tell me anything. You know, so I knew I was meeting a couple that their daughter died at the age of 20 under suspicious circumstances. That's all I knew. So when I met with them, you know... Um, I see all of this stuff happen. You can only imagine being in my head going, I mean, I, I got physically sick. Mm -hmm. I just could not believe because it was, it was awful. Mm -hmm. And you never want to believe that that can even happen, let yeah. alone to some, you just don't. And then I'm looking at the parents going, what if they don't know this? And I'm going to give them information that's going to make them not sleep for the next three years of their lives. Mm -hmm. It's going to put them through, and I was shown the hell that they were going to go through. Mm -hmm. I actually had compassion for the person that said it was a suicide. I actually had compassion for that person that just said, we can't open this up. It's that bad. Mm -hmm. But at that time, when she, Morgan, I said, you need to hold my heart because I can't take all the information and just be able to, just be able to give it how it is. My, I'm just, it's, and the clearest information comes in at the first, mm -hmm. the, the first Seven seconds, I usually get all the information, and then the second you start to judge the information or sure, interpret, sure. then you're screwed. Yeah, yeah. You're screwed. Then it goes somewhere else. But I was able to give them enough that they got more evidence, but I'm looking at these parents going, I think your daughter was murdered. You know, not knowing. It felt like suicide. This is where it goes. In, you know, you have to really trust your gut, your whole system up there Yeah. and trust who you're dealing with because the same vibration is, you know, it's pretty heavy. But she showed me what was going to happen over the next few years and said, you know, she also told me when I said lift my heart, she said, this was contracted. We have a contract. He chose, it's going to wake up. My mom's going to help. I picked my mom. Sorry about this. I picked my mother. I picked, there's nothing there. Shocker. I picked my mother who's strong, who's going Jeez. to wake up hundreds of thousands of people and change the stocking laws. Okay. This is why this act was done. Wow. I have to say that the experiences that I am grateful to have are interesting, and I don't get to share them. What do you that mean? Much. Just the experiences of, like, whether it's my cases, what I've learned from them, yeah, and the families, and the afterlife, and what I don't know, and the way that you know my human emotions get whacked from it, you yeah. know. Um, you think that would be an interesting documentary? Is that what you're saying? Not me, but those experiences, yeah. What I have learned, that anything that you think overrides what's clearly there. Always. So, 
if I see, and I've learned this because the things that I know I can't think of, the things that I've seen yeah. with some of my cases that are so horrific, if I question that, or if I say, no, that didn't happen, then it didn't. Then it, my body is forced, then something else comes over and masks the truth. Right. Because it, it goes back to judging it. Yeah. If you judge it, you're done. If you, if you, if, I mean, the second I say that I don't believe it, there's no way and question it, then the information goes this way versus this way. Okay, let's ask some Amelia. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's just jump right into Amelia and let's ask her because she's talking about dying from dysentery. We, we got that. We right. heard that from wow. her. I just felt something. Come, that's very odd. Well, tell me what you felt. Now there's a calmness. <laughs> she just felt like somebody did this. Just took everything away. It was just okay. this time that you said that. I, I invited everyone to the, to our session today. I did, awesome. Did, did the I did the of, same thing. Of making a comment of saying, who, who you know, if you're willing, show up. Show up. So, mm -hmm. so let's just talk about that. So if she could describe her moment of death, what was, where were she and what was happening? I do have to say something. Sure. Barbara Streisand's co consciousness showed up just now, I know she's not dead. Yeah, I'm just of letting you know. Fine. It was just interesting. Very I have cool. Nothing. How do we know it's Barbara? The nose? It looks like her. I don't know. That's <laughs> Could she sing a note? She didn't sing. She just. Just her vibe. I don't know. Her vibe. Why. That's all right. That's okay. okay. Well, let's ask. Barbara, what are you doing here? Amelia, and there's like four other people, they brought Barbara in to teach them how to sing. <laughs> is that so what they said? That's what they said. Oh. That they brought her in to teach her teach them how to sing. Wow. And what what if what is I've she? never I mean I, again I'm not gonna judge it. Don't I judge haven't it. seen it. It's fine. It's just very So let's ask. I guess that you, So I need to I need to know. Like so you can call people in on this planet and get their consciousness just like Don't forget there's a higher Barbara. Right, right. So I just got shown the swirling of the world. She said it's a mutual exchange. So things that they're interested in that might still be here, or that is here, yeah, it's their higher self, but they're learning from, and I, that's where I need to ask, is it from her higher self, or is it from all of her? Well, that makes no sense. For me. Obviously, it's all of her. So... They're saying they're not speaking to her higher self. They think the most authentic side is here. Mm. And that they're extracting that rawness from here. Okay. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Because it, it, a third of our energy is here at any given time. Right. Roughly. Depending who we are. Points a two. third of our energy. And two thirds of our energy is always back there. But that's, that's not a whole pizza. That's just two thirds of a pizza. And when you return back there, your third energy that was here makes it back into the whole persona. And you can experience your previous lifetimes and see them all or call them into existence, etc., etc. So the ability for them to ask Barbara to teach them how to sing is funny. There's it a, is there's, funny because it's not, it's not something I can think. But, but think, so then when you, when you say teach how to sing... Is that related to an energetic thought or pattern? It relates to a pattern that they want to... <sighs> Sorry. It comes through and it's gone. Okay. If I don't catch it, they're talking about it's related to a pattern that they want to put into their next lives. Okay. So energy, the energy, they'd like to, right, to be accessed. Very cool. And are you That's able to awesome. teach? Are you able to teach Barbara how to fly? She does not need to know that, <laughs> dude. I'm just saying. Dude, <laughs> out of, it's out of the four people that are here in this room, or at your your place where you're at. Are you the only flyer, or are your friends? They just brought in Dolly's consciousness, Dolly Parton's consciousness. Oh, very That's interesting. That's funny. And as a singer as well, does, does she can? Because uh, she certainly's got a. Wonderful voice. As a voice. As a voice, yeah. Okay, very cool. Huh. It's, it, now, is anyone in this group a teacher, or are we just all students here? Many students here. Many students. Um, I guess the qu next question might be, is there anyone around who's a teacher that we can call in to ask some questions to? 
We have these sores. I don't know. I guess it's a, they just show me this enormous, like massive white, not just- Like a ball of light? Yeah. Okay. And, and, as, and, and they just showed me Jesus' face. That's interesting. That's oh, Jesus. Know. Yes, Jesus. Okay, well, let's ask him. <laughs> let's ask him. Dude, can you stop in to say hello? I've been here for a while. Okay, very good. You've been here for a while, and have you been on this, this planet? <laughs> uh, no, I, know, I think I know what he means. Um, so, very nice of you to show up. We appreciate it. Is there anything you'd like to impart in this, what we're doing here? I want you to understand that we are support, we, we are supportive. There's never a question that can't be answered by yourselves. Why is it, what is it about you that when you get close to people, and I mean physically, proximity, when you get close to people, they burst into tears? What's up with that? They don't know they always have it with them. They get a glimpse when they see my face, and that helps them. So when Helps them become more conscious. Helps them become more conscious, I see. So when people see you in the afterlife, during a near-death experience, and you tell them it's not their time yet, is that, is that part of your job, or is that part of what you do in the afterlife? Help people that way? I tell them that they have more to live for. Very good. And it is a job that they will teach others. Could you come a little bit closer to Jennifer so that she can see what you look like? Show her. You could show her what, what you look like, what you're wearing, what color your eyes are, what, how long your hair is, whether you have a beard, whether you're a Caucasian whether you're from that region, Middle Eastern. I can't stop. He, I can't see him, but I feel him getting closer and it's doing that and I'm trying to fight it. <clears throat> you don't have to fight it, it's okay. I know, but... I'm sorry, it's my fault. I didn't think it would happen to me. <laughs> that doesn't happen to me. No, it's everybody. I, but I just, it's not even seeing him. Right, I'm not go. even seeing him. I'm just feeling him. The closer that I felt him, the more my heart dropped. Okay. Or, Is that an energetic thing that's going on? Is are you more? Are you more? Are you differently tuned than other people? Or it's the opening. He says. Ah, it's the opening. It's the opening. He's showing my heart. So, so in people a, get green because that's just the energy of the heart. Okay. And so the heart gets open based upon seeing the pictures because he'll show up in whatever version you've seen him in. Right. That's the way he shows up. And so for me, it was the one that the Mormons had in the Bible. Like, sure. And then it went to a couple of other ones. Okay. And then I saw him in blue jeans with with like a you know t -shirt. T like yeah. a polo shirt. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Just seeing the back of his head, though, right. I care. Um, Very good. But when he's <laughs> like, "Why am I crying?" And he's like, "Because you're sitting there asking, for <laughs> asking for me to, to come close." I asked him to come back, and immediately it started again. <laughs> Dude, could you tune your energy just a little bit so <laughs> Jennifer doesn't have to burst into tears? Yeah. Okay, very good. Very good. Very, that is crazy. It's crazy, man. I, we love it. It's great. It's very unusual. So, what's your day? What you know, your day. But what's your day going to be like today? What are you? Are you in many places at once, helping people simultaneously? Hey, by the way, happy birthday. Can I just say? <laughs> <laughs> he says we all have. He's, he said that we all have him with us. Like we all have him. Mm -hmm. Access to him. So, the Hindus, for example, they might not have access to you, but that's because they would have access to who? Brahma or 
He's just showing me all the different forms of the same energy. Same energy, okay. And is that you, or is that other, or is that other uh, incarnate, or is that somebody else? He says it's not me. It's not okay. I'm it's not only correct; it had more layers to it. More layers, okay. But that all religions are about the afterlife on some level. And part he just of he showed me the spoke well. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. That the spoke wheel, like all the different spokes. Oh, spokes of a wheel. Yeah. Kind of okay. The same all from the same. Yeah. And but it. Do you? Let me ask you. Do you feel it's important that people hear that message, or is that just something they're going to figure out on their own? Something that has been passed down, or passed through. Every generation that has come to this planet, and while they don't think they have access. They only have to ask. Very good. Let me ask you a mundane question. Pope Francis, who seems to be on the right path, or on another path anyway, the other day refused to see His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. I thought that was a mistake. What do you think about that? Is there any, any opinion about the mundane goings-on of the Catholic Church? It was exactly the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> Very good. And now, if he you, just showed me what it's going to do, what it has done, uh, and what that stirs in people. Okay. So that was what it was supposed to do. I see. So, right? and, and what do you mean in terms of affecting change, understanding, forgiveness, compassion? He's saying that it, it affects the way people look at the Pope and his means of not being compassionate in different sections or sectors of the earth. Different sectors, that makes sense. By the way, how's your pal Quentin Crisp? He says he's not around anymore. <laughs> okay. What does that mean? All right, well, it just means he showed up for his interview. Oh, you might be friends with Eric. That's probably what it is. Jesus, you're, I'm referring to the interview that you did with Eric Medhus, Dr. Elise Meadows' son, and Quentin Crisp. They were together. I know who you were talking about. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know, but I know better. Oh, by the way, let me ask you, is that your voice that I can hear on the tape? It is. So, how'd you do that? Manipulation. Oh, very good. Something just pierced. Like, the, the there's a piercing noise. Yeah, I heard it too. Did you hear it? Yeah, it's like a really high pitch. High pitch. <laughs> well, how often have you got a chance to interview the dude? I have always known I have the faith that he's there. Oh, you know, really? You've never run into him before? I have felt him, but not... At, not, not in this kind not, of way. At, not in this kind so of it, way. Let, well, so now that we have you, and I hope you're not, we're not to keeping you away from saving planets, but... Um, he shows me kind of like he's able to, even from there, like everybody else went away. Whatever was around, you know, like whatever was coming in was... When he showed up, everybody else was scattered, gone, okay. gone. So I don't, know, and maybe not. Maybe that's just well, it's the focus. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's I, I know, but I'm into understand it. But I'm just letting you know my view yeah. was gone. Yeah, yeah. And even when, even though he showed me different pictures in the beginning of what was in my brain reference, and that's what he was doing, he was yeah. showing me pictures that I have seen. That you've seen, yeah, of course. Um, down to the way he looked, down to the way he looked in the, in the shack. Or the book, The Shack. I don't know that one, but... Um, it's about how Jesus was this guy that used to fish, you know. Oh, okay, right, right, thing. right. Um, so, but then I didn't see, you know, I didn't see, like I see people from the other side. And that's what I was looking for. Ah, to see that glimpse, like to get that glimpse. And then when we asked for him to come closer, that, it was just that... Well, let's well, ask him, is there a reason you don't want Jennifer to see your face today? He's saying I do see it. He says you're not going to. <laughs> because I haven't asked. <laughs> okay. All right. I am now asking. He showed me <laughs> my two kids mm -hmm. when I asked him. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. No, he's very clever. 
innocent. Clever fellow, yes. Shouldn't be innocent. Just the Touche. Yeah. Touche. Okay. Okay, that's right. You're all right, all right. So it's not so important what you look like. The the construct of the question, as you know, came I from felt him though. Well, the construct came from the idea of every, if you had freckles and red hair, you know, and, and blue eyes, and everybody said the same thing, then it would help people on the planet to understand that everyone was seeing the same person. But I get it. Yes, of course, you're an energetic pattern. So how do you show that, other than innocence? Very good. No, in terms of the lottery numbers, <laughs> dude, seriously, okay? 582... <laughs> Three, seven. Oh, what? Five, eight, two, three, seven. He's not answering. <laughs> well, hello. Well, Jesus, let me ask you this: Have you ever met my friend Luana? She's that light that I saw. The counts. I just got shown that same light. Okay. When we asked for the person that, um, when we asked to see the person that was in charge, I don't know what you asked. Before. Or yeah, it's all right. I remember. I just said Bell Ball and Lou. So she's now showing herself a little bit? She was just showing me how many people, when you said that you needed your help, it was just, it's, it became this, I can't explain, it's like dimensionless. Uh, lot, so a lot of folks. A lot of folks. Um, Lou, so what are you up to? What's going on, Lou? What are you, what are you, where are you hanging out? Who are you hanging out with? I'm developing a field. For others to put in their consciousness. A field? What do you mean? I don't know. I'm asking. I have no idea. Okay. Mean. Field? I feel like it has to deal with their... Like if this is... If what we're getting is that they're taking pieces of... They're making their own DNA. Uh-huh. If that's what they're doing, maybe she's talking about a field for... You know... To me, I went straight to the kids. Like having the kids have some type of field that they can... So they don't feel everything... Uh-huh. But that's just my own mind. So I need to see what she's, because I feel like she showed me. It's a field for the ones who are getting born. It helps them acclimate better. So a field that will help them while they're on the planet or prior to coming here? A field to help them prior. Prior to coming here. Okay, very good. Um, it's going to help them neutralize the Earth's grid. Hmm? Um, I see. So it will help the planet in terms of its... She's smiling at you right now. <laughs> it's so funny. She's, she's in my pocket. On. I brought her in my pocket just Did in you? case. Yeah, she's in my pocket. Lou, she travels around with me in my Route 66 bag. I love that. <laughs> That's very cool. My fellow traveler. <laughs> Well, I asked her what, you know, you know the story. Yeah. I asked her what you wanted me to do with her ashes. She said, take them wherever you go. So, I don't always she's take them. She's fascinated, but she's just, she wants to, she's waiting for your answer with what you were saying. So, she's she's showing you, right? Yeah, well, no. What I'm talking no, about. No, I get, I get what you're saying. So I don't get it, but. Well, I've heard I, people talk about the, uh, the earth as this organism and this. It's been shown to me a couple, yeah. And, and, and so, the idea of of creating a field of, let's call it, compassionate consciousness, for lack of a better term. So that before people come here, it's like helping maybe, I don't know, embedding them perhaps, or maybe it's manipulating their energy so that when they do get here, they see the planet as a, a holistic place, like the overview effect that it's all, we're all connected. A grid. Does that yeah. make sense? Like it's yeah. a grid? And so kids, kids that are being born now... Uh, will, it is what we see, like... Yeah. It's what I've seen since, but I didn't understand it. Oh, okay. So, but that idea that people will be able to, but is there a reason for that happening? Is there something we should be worried about in terms of the environment or the earth? It felt environmental. Environmental. So, is there? Will there be a disaster of some sort? Not the sun burning. Okay. Well, um, it, it could be heat. It could be the you know the uh, the effect of you know whatever you call it the warming effect of the planet. That would make sense. So, will this field help people to change the course of the Earth? Yes. Okay, very good. To help heal the planet. It's almost as if they're getting planted to grow, like, as if they're the medicine for the planet. Excellent. That's great. She's showing me how they, 
just the crystalline. She's so sweet, by the way. And I, and it's, she stayed away last time. And it's only because I said, I know too much about you and I don't, you know, unless it comes up or whatever. I didn't say it like that. She just corrected me. <laughs> well, she will do She's that. She's absolutely right. But she's like, you didn't say it like that. <laughs> I just, I, con I made a conscious decision and I'm sorry. But I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't turn anybody away. I just, I didn't. No, no, I get it. You know, I understand. Even though she was there, I just didn't know it was her. I see. No, Does that make no sense? worries. No, no worries. We're here together. What a magical thing that, that I, you found me, I found you, and here we are talking to Luana. It's just a wonderful uh, journey. It is. You know, it's, it's kind of wacky. Uh, Luana, yeah. is there anybody on, you know, of yeah. your friends, like Chuck or any of your pals? I was I saw Warren the other night, and I saw Goldie, and I saw Robert, your old pals. And the only reason I was there at the party was because of you. So, is there anything I can help them with, or be part of, or should I just leave them to their own device? Who's the, who's the guy? No, I know you're kidding. <laughs> what? I saw Steve Jobs traverse through. Okay, very good. He was in Flipside. He's in You It's a Wonderful Afterlife. Can we stop him for a second? I was like, you're not. I told her, I'm like, you're not with Steve. <laughs> can I? Can I? I haven't read the book yet, but he's in. He's in the, the second volume. Okay. Of course he is, because you don't have it out there yet. Yeah, for of me. course. Okay. So Steve makes an appearance because I did a session with somebody who knew him. Okay. And this girl spoke to him briefly and asked him what his opinion was of what's going on with Apple, and he made a really strong comment. But my question to Steve is. Your last words were, oh, wow, oh, wow, see? oh, wow. What did you see? What were you experiencing? It's like I was a father. Good. Everything made sense. Okay, very good. Oh, okay, very good. That's what I need. That's what I was asking. Not a big question. Everything made sense. I, okay, that's what I suspected. But now you've confirmed it. Of course you would see your real father, because then now you've realized... Now you understand why you were adopted in another family, because that was part of your pattern and your journey. Made sense. He got the intel before he left. Very good. That's cool. It is cool. Luana, let's ask Lou, what were your last words? You said, ha, ha, ha. What did that mean? Or were you just trying to get your breath? He turned and looked at me and said, ha, ha, ha. She said she was so grateful that it wasn't scary. It was pure love. Oh, very cool. And I was not afraid to go. Very good. Are you hanging out with Mr. Bailey? I can't believe I stayed. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not, dude? I you know, know, why not? I There's know. stuff to do. We had more cappuccinos to have. Come on. I felt like she, there was this African-American beautiful woman. Ah, yes, I know her. Beautiful woman. Is she there? Yeah. Hazel. Hazel. That's, that's Hazel. Her, yeah. You talked about Hazel, right? No. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but she's gorgeous. Oh, very good. Very just... So they're hanging out together. Yeah. I don't tell Hazel I said hi. She has a great smile and laugh. She's very great. great smile. Oh, my God. When I was in Tokyo, I stopped. Oh, there. man, she's a model. She looks like a model, like a gorgeous model. That's what she appears to be. Very cool. Well, I didn't know her then. I knew her. She was in a film of mine. Hazel. Of course she was. Of course she was. Everyone. And when I was in Tokyo, I stopped at the Nichiren Shoshu tomb, uh, well, the, the monastery, and I said a little prayer on their right. behalf because they were both uh, Nichiren Shoshu, NSA, Buddhists, you know, Namio Rekyo. Uh, uh, okay. And I scattered some of Luana's ashes there in the right. receptacle, which is kind of funny because. I had to sneak him in into the bottle of the water there. But I, I heard Hay, Hazel's voice, Hey, when I was there. I it's didn't cool. plan it's on very it. profound. Yeah, and I'll let Cherry know, that's her husband, that you know she's still around and she showed up today. She shows up wearing a kimono. Oh, very good. Well, Japan, there you go, dude. I don't know. Bob's but your uncle. It was just the colors. The, the, she was... The colors that are around her were so Intense. incredibly beautiful, like That's the great. blues and the greens. Um, and they're laughing. Are they like buddies? Were yeah, they like they're really? pals, yeah. Best friends wow. from high school. Yeah, they're like little kids. Like, they were go. actors. Yeah, okay. Wow. Lou and Hay, hanging out.
Uh, can I ask her a question? Hold yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I asked her if that was really Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What did she, she say? She laughed. They both looked at her and laughed. He said yes. Oh, very cool. Uh, Lou, it's the ultimate name dropping. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you sure? Is that is that really? And they just laughed at me, like you're even questioning it. And I hear, I, I mean, every, that was very, very. Um, it was beautiful to feel that, you know. Without I can see it was beautiful to watch. But without any, without seeing him, I saw everything. Wow. That's what he was want. That's what he was trying to convey. By letting go of the image, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've talked about it, I'm sure you No, I haven't talked about it. Who am I going to talk about it with, right? <laughs> so i got nobody to talk about it with, other than people that are, you know, I'm trying to help on some level, you know, and so, you know, you want to... To feel him, not see him. Yeah, exactly. And we never ask that. We try so hard to get that image. Right? Yeah, what it's I mean? a great message, which is, you know, I'm everywhere around you up to in the faces of innocent people. She, by the way, she has the most amazing voice, Lou. It's very, like, it's nuts. It's, it's um, a little bit deeper, uh -huh. the way she talks, but it's very uh, pleasant. I don't know. It's very smooth. Very smooth. Very smooth. She, she had an uncanny ability to get people to tell their life story. To her, yeah. wherever we went, something in her voice and manner, she drew people out. She's very connected to your daughter. Okay, very good. Um, and I think part of the energy field that she's creating has to do with not having, has to deal with that. What do you mean? Um, making sure that when they get here, they, everybody comes in here locked and loaded. I guess. Oh, I see, I see. It's part of just her field of, uh, right. of, of, yeah. I understand. There's so much going on that she actually came close because I it was a hard. I have sometimes I have a trouble trouble looking in when there's so much going on, and so she came over and just went like this and put her arms around me to, so she could talk That's to lovely. me, which is very sweet. She already understood that it was difficult for me for just a second, but it was very sweet. Thank you. So you know the love. It's about love. So you know the love. So you know the love that's never going to leave. Okay, I get it. I don't get it. I get it, I get it. I know what she's saying. How, uh, what, what a great thing to recalibrate. So to see what they were doing, what Amelia, like when I was being shown those mm -hmm. different, they were taking bits and pieces of the consciousness that was here, that's still alive, like Barbara Streisand. Uh -huh. And taking that raw part of her and bringing it to whatever they're gonna do, part of whatever worked for her into recalibrating the future. Into oh, the future. I see. I see. So what Amelia is doing, or what that was about, is a little bit what Luana was saying, which is this field of energy right. that that will uh, that will help people, I guess, at some right. Level. Because if you think about it, they're getting. It, she showed me it matriculating both sides. So, it, and it makes sense. I just never thought it went the other way. Everything that we've ever done is everything that we're doing. Supposedly, that we're thinking up here as yeah. tools um, has been done, right? And we're pulling on it, right? Uh -huh. Well, they're doing the, the extraction the other way to create another person to do the same thing. Interesting. Well, they say that you know, to soul when a soul is created, it's fascinating. You take little bits and pieces from from other energetic parts. Those and barrels. Add. What are they called? The the things the. In the will, the, not the spokes. I'm talking about oh, oh, yeah. the chain. The you know they hold on to memory. You said it. In the yeah, memory. yeah, yeah. The little uh, fractals. The, uh, the bearings. Packets, the energy. bearings. Bearings. Ball bearings. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sorry. Sounds like <laughs> I'm blonde. <laughs> but what do you mean? So the bearings themselves are they're uh, they're so affecting the bearings. So when I'm oh, that's interesting. When I'm being shown the children that are here to be the medicine for the planet. Because they're going to be integrating more with the planet. Um, and that's the field that Lou talked about. The bearings that... It's a higher frequency that they're putting into these children. I see. But if you think about it, a lot of the children here that have had that high frequency haven't been able to handle it. So they're doing something to make it a smoother transition. Okay, but I'm wondering... 
you know, because we're wiring ourselves, you know, the wireless thing that's happening on the planet. It is an energetic pattern, and I'm wondering if that's a detrimental or positive, or, you know, who knows? I mean... It neutralizes. Neutralizes. Oh, it, so that would be negative. If so, it would, be, would it be neutralizing our ability to access the, the other side? I don't know. Is that a good thing? Or are we tuning ourselves in a way? Are we being tuned? We are. I had, for the last couple of months, they felt a lot farther away uh-huh. for me. Because it used to be so profound. Yeah. You know, it still is. Sure. But it's the, it feels like we just are now, we have come closer uh-huh. to, this, to the veil or whatever. You know, it's been yeah. challenging for me to, to get used to it. I'm used to it, but it's just like talking to someone, yeah. right? Whereas before, it used to be more profound coming from right from a diff like it was a different dimension. Now it's I have to question because it's so close, right? Because it and feels like, am I making this up? Right. Or, yeah, I get it. I know, right. I know what you mean. And it's and you know that's why I ha- I'm that you know. No, and I've had the same experience when doing work with Scott. You know, we we did four right. sessions together. By the time we got to the third one, I felt like while I was in the middle of the session, that I was just having a conversation with other right. people. But it also felt like I was making it up as well. I mean, right. Not that I was making it up, but right. that it was coming from Richard's Richard's memory banks. Right. No longer from out there. Right. New information, you see. I, it's made everybody really question their work, you know, yeah. and I've had to trust my work. Yeah, I and, think and you I've just got to go, you got to trust it, because why would it be any different? You know, it the only difference be. is that we're getting we're. It's just, it's no different than when you, you know, no pun intended, but somebody doing drugs for the first time, you get the greatest high ever. Right, or the, well, the first time that you like realize everything that's going on on the other, you know, and how great it is now that I'm understanding the language and blah 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 blah. Well, now it's matriculated. You've been doing the drugs so long, <laughs> you've been working so all the time that now right. it's not. There's no right. jump. There's yeah. not there's not that jump anymore. It's right here. It's always been there. My perception has changed. Well, you know, I would only venture to say that, you know, the courage that it takes to live a lifetime that's gonna be where you check out in a difficult way. Let's just say where you get off stage in a hard way. Okay. Right. Robin Williams, you know, showed up uh, last time we were talking. There's a guy who got off stage in a difficult manner. But here's a guy who owned the stage. No question about it. The man owned every inch of the stage and then when he decided to step off stage it's almost like the audience members went oh no 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 that's not how you exit yeah you cannot exit the stage that way because that hurts my opinion of your performance and and but if you're thinking of the thousands of performances that we're going to achieve and accomplish and and be a gift to other people right a thousand or thousands then the matter of the exit becomes just this kind of odd judgment. Because of course, we don't die. If we right. start there, if Morgan's not dead. Right, she's okay, very much we, alive. She's very much alive. So therefore, her choice of that exit, as difficult as it is for everybody else, was like a brilliant choice. Right. Very difficult to put your mind around, like I'm gonna play this particular role, as hard as that might, have, might be because it's going to affect, change, right. help people. Right. The courage, the older soul courage that it takes to be able to say, I can be born in Africa for six months and have flies on me and die, but I'm going to help the doctors. I'm going to give compassion to other people. There's a wonderful thing that you want to honor in the courage of that. Right. You know, so it was mm-hmm. like, you know, when I've talked to the, this woman whose daughter... You know, I, t- I told the story of how she uh, walked into our my talk, and she was on her way to an incest survivor group, but right, with the wrong door. Right. You know, and then she was quite upset with me when I said something along the lines of a contract, and you know that she learned something, whatever. And so then we talked about it, and I just asked very simply, "Was your daughter a happy person?" She said, "Absolutely." I said, "Well, then, wouldn't she want you to be happy?" Yeah, absolutely. Well, then. Can you honor that? That she would want you to live your life in a happy manner. 
and think about how difficult it is for her to show up in your life as an energy or something you feel her, sense her around you. That's a tough gig. That's hard to do. <laughs> it ain't easy. Otherwise, everybody do it all right. the time, right? So right. it's hard to do. So to get that focus and energy and it just to time it just right for a dream or something, you know, right. or visual, that's a wonderful, wonderful talent. Right. And so you want to honor that on some level. You know, the, the hardest thing is to say, well, you're going to see them again. And then, you know, but we can't help but say, well, but it won't be the same. <laughs> you know, it won't be right. with peanut butter and cookies <laughs> And it won't be with a cappuccino. Right. But, you know, the good news is there are cappuccinos. You know, you can have cookies. You can yeah, you can have the best cookie you've ever had, you know. Yeah. So so those kind of things, you know, that kind of just gives it a different perspective.